Hi everybody, John Martinson here, founder of Robolinux.org. Uh, you can call me Robo, everybody else does. We've been around since 2011. Okay, today is a tutorial to show you how to create a virtual machine desktop icon for either Windows 7 or 10. And they both are created the same exact way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, knock out Windows 7. And uh, this is very easy to do. Please, you know, pay attention and, uh, and you'll be successful. So bottom left menu, left click, go up to administration, scroll down to virtual box, or if you have it in your favorites, load it over here. Okay, it's easy to put it over there. You just right click any application and select add to favorites okay so I've got mine over here and I've actually got a Windows 10 in there already um, so I'll just do a Windows 7 they both work exactly the same so you load VirtualBox and you right click either your 10 or your 7 and go almost to the bottom where it says create shortcut on desktop left click it you'll see it okay so there we are it's got a kind of a sort of generic looking cube that's not looking like Windows 7 so we're gonna right click it see how I highlight the, the actual file and you right click there when you've highlighted it go to the bottom select properties where you see this icon left click it Okay, now we hit the Browse button up here on the right, and we need to go over to the Home directory, and we need to go double-click VM Icons, that's VM-Icons, and we see XP 10 and 7. In this case, we're going to do 7. If you're doing Windows 10, pick Windows 10.png. Here's 7. And we have to left-click it again. It's now highlighted. At the bottom right, press the Select button. And you're almost done, but you got one more thing to do. So now we're going to need to, actually two more things. We're going to right-click this file. It is a .desktop file. Right-click it, open it with an editor. Could be mEdit, could be whatever you've installed as an editor. Could be using a terminal if you prefer, like I do, using VI. Or Nano, which is easier. I'm going to select Pluma so you can follow along and do the easy process here. So here's Pluma. Now what we notice at the very bottom is um, we do not have a categories. Um, so we're going to type in categories. That is a capital C. Please make sure you spell this correctly. Categories equal system. System is a capital S. And at the very end, hit the end button or move your mouse and left click at the end. And you're going to have a semicolon which is a dot above a comma. We are done. Press the Save button up here. Okay, all right. And X out of Pluma, your editor. Now, we need to move this file, this dot desktop file, to the slash USR slash applications. Sorry, let's do that again. You need to move this file to the slash USR slash share slash applications. To do that the easy way, instead of using a terminal, which is how I do it, um, just go down to Nemo, your file manager down here, left click it, and in the white space area we're going to be loading the root user of Nemo. So we're going to right click in a white area, and down here where it says open as root, left click it, type in your password. Okay, now we're not going to be using the user uh, session of Nemo. So we're going to get that out of the way. We are in the root Nemo user. So now we're, we're in the root using Nemo. Um, be careful when you're in the root, okay? Don't do anything, you know, um, that you're not sure of. So uh, we need to go, we have to navigate over to our um, to our actual home folder and the fast way to do that is select file system over here on the left below my computer left click it it highlights the home kind of pretty smart knows where you're going um, 
and you left click home and you you will find your user folder here that is your actual username below the folder in my case it's robo in your case it could be bob it could be joe it could be you know whoever so now we're in robo but we we know that we have this new dot desktop file on our desktop so we need to go over to the desktop folder see that right there and now you can see it now right click it and you're going to cut it because we're going to be moving it and it's going to be easy so just don't worry so you press cut now under bookmarks over here i've already programmed for you a slash usr slash share slash applications directory and you left click it now please do not move your mouse over the top of another dot desktop icon go to a white space area right click and select paste and in my case we did it, we're doing this again because i already had one but that's okay i'll just overwrite it and we're actually done with that Okay, now do you see how I have the Windows 10 down here as well as the 7? Okay, they're there. And it's the same process whether you make a 7 or a 10, except you pick a different icon. Okay, so now we're going to shut down this uh, Nemo that has been opened up as a root user using your sudo password. And at this point now, of course, I've got mine already programmed, so I'm going to remove them. I just right-click them, remove, right-click, Remove. I'm going to add them again just to show you how it works. Bottom left menu, go on up to administration, which is where we put them because system, categories equals system, is the administration menu options. Okay, so go to administration, start scrolling down till you find Windows 10 or Windows 7. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and put Windows 7 in there. Okay, so I just left click it. Now, what I can do, um, I'm sorry, you have to right click it. Uh, right click it. And you can select panel, which is the bottom. Some people call it the taskbar. Um, you can put it on the desktop. Let's add the desktop. And that's not my normal way of doing it, but I'll go ahead and just show you how that works. Um, so we have to go back there again, administration, go on down to Windows 7, right click. Now I'm going to move it down to the panel, add the panel. You could have put it in favorites over here to the left, over up in here. Yep, could have, like I did Windows 10. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put it down in the panel. And so I right click and I select add to panel and that's it. There it is. Now you will hold your left mouse button over the icon and you will drag it over where you want it. Okay, there we go. And you can see it over here next to the Roblinux menu. Now I'm not going to leave this one up here on the desktop. Right click it, select delete. I don't like to have a messy desktop. So, and just to verify it works, go ahead and load Windows 7 by left clicking it down here. Could have, went, could have been Windows 10. And there you go, it's loading it. And it's going to start Windows for you. Okay. Um, so, there's your Windows 7. And um, I'm going to go ahead and shut down. Could have been Windows 10. It's all the same. Just depends on which one you picked. Okay, and that's it. And that covers today's tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful day. And may Yahweh bless you and yours.